Okay, I was just replying to comments. Let's have a look now. Answer any three questions in section B. The diagram below shows a road AB, which is not to scale. We have a 9 and we have a 70. The gradient of the road is written as a percentage. Find the gradient here. Okay. So it's just going to be BC over uh, AC. Ah, we need Pythagoras. Okay, so it's going to be 9 over root 70 squared minus 9 squared is 9 over root 70 squared minus 9 squared as a percentage 12 I think that's uh, nearest percent okay so 13 percent then 0 0.13 that's the gradient yeah you don't eat um okay 3d trig problem it looks like Now what's she up to? Olga wants to measure the vertical height of a hill. The point H is at the top of the hill. The points O and P are 20 metres apart on horizontal ground at the bottom of the hill. Olga measures the angle of elevation from R to H. Taking O to be the point directly below H and perpendicular and she measures the angles. Okay, work out the distance OH. Give your answer to the nearest meter. <sighs> what will I get? Will I sign rule to get the base here? If we call this x, I can say x over sine 87 equals, I should get this angle here as 180 minus 88 minus 87. That's only 5. So that's 20 over sine 5 20 divided by sine 5 times sine 87 so i have my x as 229.15 blah 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 then in this right angle triangle we'll call this h i can say tan 17 equals h over x so h equals x tan 17. So I multiply my answer by tan 17 and I get 70 meters. Okay, C. Olga has some done some tests to measure her lung capacity when she is resting the volume of air in her lungs after t seconds can be modeled by that formula where b is in liters, t is time in seconds from a given point in time, pi over t is in radians, diagram blah, 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 blah. Find the values marked A and B on the graph, the minimum and the maximum. Okay, well, looking at the formula, the A will be 2 minus 0.4, which is 1.6, and the B will be 2 plus 0 0.4, 2.4 then. Okay. D, what is the connection between B derivative and whether Olga is breathing in or out? Okay. So, just be careful here. B, the volume of air B in her lungs. So, if the derivative is positive, that means um, the air in her lungs is increasing, which means she's breathing in. And if the derivative is negative, that means uh, the volume of air in her lungs is decreasing. So she must be breathing out. Using the formula to find each of the following. Find the volume in, uh, of air in Olga's lung half a second after T is. Okay, well that's okay. Just put your calculator in radian mode. 2 minus 0 0.4 times cos pi over 2 times 0 0.5 three decimal places 1.717 liters find the rate at which the volume of air in whoops 
find the rate at which the volume of air in August lung is increased in half a second. Okay, so we need the derivative here. The derivative would be minus uh, 0 0.4 times pi over 2 because the derivative of cos is minus sine sine pi over 2t. So that would then equal when you sub in half a second. 0 0.4 times pi divided by 2 times sine pi over 2 times 0 0.5. Uh, that is 0 0.44 liters per, per second. Three. Olga's breathing is also measured while she's doing gentle exercise during this time. Okay, so we have to write the new formula. Okay, Olga's breathing is also measured when she's doing gentle exercise during this time. When she breathes in fully, the volume of air in her lungs is 3.6. When she breathes out fully, the volume of air in her lungs is 1.3. So the middle of those two, 1.3 plus 3.6 is 2.45 so i know straight away the formula is going to be 2.45 plus uh 1.15 let me just double check that so 2.45 plus 1.15 gives me 3.6 as needed and then if i replace it with a minus it gives me 1.3 as needed she breathes in and out twice as many times per liter as when she's resting. So that's going to change the period. If she's breathing in twice as many times per minute, uh, it means that the graph is more compressed. And what would I have to do? Do I multiply the coefficient by two or divide by two? I'd multiply it by two, isn't it? Yeah, multiply it by two. So it would just be pi t. So I think this is the formula. Use this information to write the formula E t. Okay. Yeah, that, that's it. That That's it. I hope. Compress it. Ah, let's move on.